Let's revise the topic pronouns and its kinds. What is a pronoun? Word that replaces a noun are called pronouns. Those words which replaces a noun, right? And what are nouns? Noun is a naming word. So the word which is replacing this noun is known as a pronoun. Suppose if you say that Naira is a girl, you're talking about a girl named Naira. So next time when you're going to talk about the same girl, so as she's a girl, so you replace this word with she. So this word is a pronoun. Is it clear? The word that replaces a noun. This is a noun and this is the word which is replacing this word. So this is known as a pronoun. Is the concept clear? I, me, mine, are, they, them, him, her, we, she, us, it. These are all your pronouns. You use these words to replace a noun. And the word which replaces a noun is known as a pronoun. Okay? So now come to four kinds of pronouns. All total we have nine kinds of pronouns. How many kinds? Nine kinds. First one is demonstrative, then interrogative, possessive, reflexive, emphatic, personal, relative, distributive and indefinite. So we have all total nine kinds of pronouns. So now we will study one by one. Now the first one is Demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronoun actually points out the noun it refers to. Whichever noun it is referring to, it points that. The things which are near and singular, you will say this and that. And for the things which are far and it's plural, then you will say these and those. For example, if you say, this is my house. Which house? This is my house. Right? Dash is yours. Dash is yours. That is yours. Dash are green chairs. These are green chairs. Okay, because this, this is plural number. So you can say these are green chairs. Yeah, those are green chairs. Dash are naughty boys. These are not naughty boys. Those are naughty boys. Okay, so when it is singular, you will say this. And the thing which is near and if it is far, you will say that. But if the things are plural in number, then you will say these or those. Now practice all four sentences over here and leave your answers in the comment box. I have given you the choice. Just read the sentence and just fill it up with the correct answer and leave the answers in the comment box. Interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns is used to ask a question. Right? It is used to ask a question. Who, what, which, whose, whom. These are all your interrogative words. Right? You use them to ask a question. Now kindly note who, whom and whose. They are generally used for people. You generally use these words for people. What is usually used for things? If you're asking for the thing, you'll use what. And which may be used for person also, thing also, and animal also. Is it clear? For example, if you're asking, dash are you, means you're asking from a person. You'll say, who are you? Whom do you blame for it? I told you that you use who, whom, and whose. Generally used for the people, right? Generally you use it for the people. Whose is this book? You are asking, whose is this book? What did you eat? Right, you are asking, okay, what did you eat? You generally want to know about the thing. Which is your bike? So I told you that which can be used for the thing as well as for a person as well as for the animal also. So when you want to ask a question, to use all these words who, what, which, whom, whose, whom. Okay? 
go through all, all these sentences and leave your answers in the comment box. Okay? Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronoun, this shows possession or this shows ownership. Mine, our, yours, his, hers, theirs, these are all your possessive pronouns. You all know that we have, when we talk, we have three persons, first person, second person and third person, right? If the first person is there and it is singular number, you use mine. The first person is plural, then you'll use ours. Second person, yours. And for plural, also you'll use yours. For the third person, if it is singular, you'll use his. And for the plural, you use theirs. Similarly, if it is singular, is hers, then you will use it in the singular form. And if it is plural, you will use theirs. So this thing you have to keep in your mind while you are talking for the person. First person, second and third person, you have to make sure whether it is singular or plural. And then accordingly you will place that. Okay. That pen is mine. This is yours. So mine stands for the singular person. Isn't it? And yours stands for the second person. And singular You'll use yours is same for the singular also and for the plural too. Kindly note, it can never be used as possessive pronoun. Okay? You never use its as a possessive pronoun. Now, go through all these sentences and leave your answers in the comment box. I think the concept is clear that the possessive pronoun shows position or shows ownership. So, go through the exercise and try now the personal pronouns personal pronoun is used in place of a noun that may be the subject or object of a sentence okay this is also used in place of a noun and that can be in the place of a subject or object of a subject now you have two cases in the personal pronoun you have two cases one is subjective case and another one is objective case. Right? When you use it as a subject, it will become the subjective case and when it is used as an object, it will become as an objective case. Subject you use, I, we, you, he, she, it, they. These are all your subjective case. An object case is where me, us, you, him, her, it, them. These are all your object. Okay? Don't get confused. For the subject and object, if it is both are same, you and you will remain same. Okay? Now see, it is used for non-living things. For animals, when gender is not known, you use it. You use it for child also, when you don't know the gender or it is important. Right? There you can use it. When you are talking, kindly make sure the sequence that the second person will come first, then the third person and then the first person. This should be the sequence when you are talking about the person in a sentence. Second person, third person and first person. Okay? Now see example here. He gave it to me. He is a subject right it and me it is used for non-living things for animals also and for ch children or any child which is important or gender is known right so you are, you are, you are talking about a thing he gave it to me so me and it they are two objects it is also an object and me is also an object here and he is the subject over here. Okay, you may get two objects in a sentence. Now this is a practice time for you. Here are a few sentences and you have to circle the person pronouns in these sentences. Leave your answers in the comment box. So kindly make sure that personal pronoun is used in place of a noun 
that may be the subject or object of a sentence. Subjective case and object. When you use it at the place of a subject, that is a subjective case. And when you use it at the place of an object, it becomes the objective case. Okay? Now the relative pronouns. Re relative pronouns, they relate or join a group of words that follows it. What is the function of relative pronouns? They relate or they join a group of words that follows it. It can be people also, it can be place, it can be things, it can be animals, it can be ideas. So the words which are used as relative noun are who, who, that, which, whoever, whose, whomever, whichever. These are all your relative pronouns. You see here, this is the boy who helped me. This word is relating, isn't it, to the boy who helped you. So, this is the boy who helped me. So, what is a relative pronoun? It is, joins a group of words that follows it. Okay? Here is the book which I needed. So, this word, which, who, these are all your relative pronouns because they are joining a group word that follows it. Now, this is a practice time for you. Here are a few sentences. Go through it. And leave your answers in the comment box. Indefinite pronoun. So the term indefinite itself says okay, it is indefinite when you are not sure. So indefinite pronoun do not refer to any particular thing or any particular person. Okay. All, anyone, anybody, anything, everything, something, somebody, Nobody, nothing, some, none, these are all your indefinite. When you are not sure about the person or, or thing, then you use indefinite pronoun. Kindly note for person you use everybody, somebody, anybody, nobody, everyone. And for the thing you will say anything, something, everything, nothing. Okay. Just for example, see here. Somebody has stolen my bag. So you are not sure who has stolen. Somebody has stolen my bag. Did you ask anybody to help you? Okay. So these are the words you use for the indefinite pronouns. Now it's a practice time for you. Read the sentences and leave your answers in the comment box. Practices. The more you will practice, beta, the more perfect you will be. Distributive pronouns. Now, the distributive pronoun, they refer to a person or things one at a time. Right? They refer one at a time for a person or a thing. They describe members of a group separately, individually. Okay? They are always singular. They are always singular. Now, see here. Neither. When two people or things are there, you will see me. It's neither. None. Two things, people are there, your yeah, two things are there, you will say, use this word, neither. Either, two people, one out of two. Is it clear? Neither you will use for none. Either you will use for two. Out of two, only one will get. Either you go or you go. Right? Neither you will get, nor he. Each denotes every one of a person or thing. Means each one of you have to do this work. Any, no, one, none denote more than two persons or things. They denote more than two persons or things. Okay. So these are all your distributive pronouns. Kali note we use if after either of is also written. Neither of, each of, any of, we use either of, neither of, each of, any of with plural pronouns or nouns and singular one. If either is followed by of, when neither is followed by of, when each is followed of, we use plural nouns or pronouns. Okay? We use plural forms and we use singular verbs. Got it? Just, just see the example. Any of them can attend the class. So, 
this is plural word them and can it is singular verb now see the examples for the distributive pronouns i may buy either of these two because two bags are there so you will buy you i may buy either of these two bags right out of two you will buy, buy only one everyone must finish the breakfast means everyone each one of you will be awarded for your hard work is the concept clear so the distributive pronoun refers to a person or a thing one at a time they describe members of a group separately individually they point out now practice these sentences and leave your answers in the comment box reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns are used when the action done by the subject turns back or reflects back on the subject okay they are used when the action done by the subject reflects back on the subject kindly note the doer and the receiver is same the doer and the receiver is the same it is always used as the object of a verb you always use reflexive pronoun as the object of a verb it comes after a verb sometime after an adverb too or an adjective or a pronoun or a noun myself himself herself yourself ourselves themselves yourselves itself these are all your reflexive pronoun now see here i then reflexive pronoun will be myself you yourself ya yeah, yourselves he himself she herself it itself we ourselves they themselves is the concept clear kindly note reflexive pronoun is not used as a subject you always use it as a object of a verb you will never say myself so and so this is absolutely wrong sentence kindly stop saying this thing introduce yourself that i am so and so whatever your name is see the example i fell down and hurt myself now i right is a subject here and the reflexive pronoun will be myself i was in a hurry so i washed the car myself you are too young to go out by yourselves okay is the concept clear now go through all these sentences and try to do it and leave your answers in the comment box emphatic pronoun now emphatic pronoun reflects back on the subject with more emphasis right it gives more stress on the subject kindly note it comes before verb right it comes before verb myself yourself herself himself itself ourselves yourself then these are also all your emphatic pronoun the king himself attended the party right it comes before verb so it is you can see this is your verb and it is coming before it the cat jumped or oh, opened the door that the cat opened the door itself now the cat opened the door itself now here it is not coming before a verb so sometimes it may come after also but mostly it comes before verb i heard the lie myself she herself went to the school she cut herself while cutting clothes so all these words these are all your emphatic pronouns now my dear children many of you get confused for the reflexive pronoun and for the emphatic pronoun so i'm telling the easiest way how to make the difference between the emphatic pronoun as well as the reflexive pronoun okay now see so with the simple rule all your problem will be solved in a reflexive sentence you can ref remove this word 
after removing you have to alter the meaning also if you are removing the reflexive pronoun you have to alter the meaning so they can't be removed without altering the meaning this you should make clear you will have a question left in your mind once you remove this thing you will have a question the answer meaning of the sentence will not be clear to you just see here the boys hid themselves if you remove this word now see the boys hid then there will be a question mark in your brain easiest way so if you remove the reflexive pronoun make sure that you have to alter the meaning you will have a question there because the meaning of the sentence will not be clear but while in emphatic pronouns you can very comfortably remove that word and there will be no change in the meaning also he himself went to the party remove this word himself and now again read he went to the party is the sentence clear to you is it giving you the full meaning yes so i think this is the easiest way need not to trouble yourself just follow the simple rule if the meaning is clear by removing that word it means that is an emphatic pronoun and if you have to alter the meaning then that is the reflexive pronoun i think this concept is clear now go through all these sentences and leave your answers in the comment box i think this pronoun chapter is clear to you keep on practicing and still if you have any query please feel free to ask me anytime please leave your answers in the comment box so that i'll come to know that you are watching the video carefully don't try to do it like that first just try to understand the concepts when the once the concepts are clear it will be very easy for you to do all the exercises there will be no need of help from anyone you will not need anyone to help you you can do it yourselves